And got some fun with software today, fighting with blooming stuff. Anyway, we've got something that's quite useful, I think. Oh, I got my finger in the way. I do tend to put my finger in the way. So what we've got is uh, we have this is actually on, and obviously you can't hear it. And so what we can do is we can bring the mark in like this. All right. And then we can. It's not quite as loud as it was, but that's probably better because what I've done is I've refined the software to actually work quicker and res respond quicker. And I can increase the speed. Like that. Yeah, and I can make it just so you can do a high acceleration. So uh, there's a bit of a, still a bit of a funny where it, it kind of it gets in a in a sequence that's. Uh, it's somehow it's got in a sequence where it's wrong, but anyway, yeah. So you can see the face is running quite low. Yeah. And we've got a reasonable mark, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So we can see a mark space ratio of some description. Bring that down a bit this way. So we can see that better. Okay. And then I can uh, I can alter it now. And what I can do is I'll show you it. Uh, being accelerated, so I can I can bring the speed up like this. And this is turning. A little bit too fast because I'm really making it. And you can see it now lit up. If I actually put my fingers on it to actually simulate like loading it, see how the, the LED goes brighter, doesn't it? What I've done also is I've incorporated into the mark a stop, so you can turn it off, and then that's it. You've lost all the power, of course, deliberately. Okay. So you can immediately bring it back on. So that's like a clutch, you see. That's the way I see that. The mark is like bringing the clutch in. See? There we go. There we go. And then you just control the speed. using the, uh, the space and because the space is linked see, we can do it really slow now and it's actually now stable when it's running slowly and the only reason why it's stable now uh, is because uh, we've incorporated a proper mark space in it and then you can just drop the, drop the mark off see it's on and I could probably nudge it and get it to turn now so a little bit more see? So you've got, and obviously this is not necessarily, <laughs> this is going to be linked up to a shaft, so you haven't got any of this. Okay. But you can bring it in like that, see? There you go. And I can just, if I, like, put the throttle down and I can bring it in, like I'm pulling the clutch up. Okay. <laughs> so you can do that at any time, you see? So you you've simulated what a normal car does. Okay. And what I can do is I can speed it like that. Okay. And you can hear like, you can hear the power being put on as well, can't you? Okay. That's that's like no, that's just normal and then when I power it you hear it. And then I turn the power down, and it's like, you know, down runs, see? Yeah. See? So you've got, like, the equivalent of that being like a clutch, as if it were. It's not going to be a clutch, obviously. But it's like you can, you can apply the power, <coughs> and then you control the, the power output here, see? I can now go. Okay. Bring it down again. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I think it'll work. And I think it'll, it's a little quirky, obviously. And I can actually construct it in such a way as it uses standard PDWM, but I think that's better. It will make it different. It will be a different kind of drive. 
you see, and you can see the uh, heat of the run working. Okay. Yeah. See when I took it out. That's showing the power, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, we're done. Yeah, that'll do. And I'm quite happy with that now.